Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today's mini miracle is Macy! For any of you guys who are new subscribers, you might not know. You guys who don't know, I got Macy when Gabby was just a little baby. I was trying to get pregnant, trying to get pregnant. I wanted another baby so badly, and I convinced Sam to buy this little puppy for me for Christmas. Little did I know that God had other plans and gave this dog to Gabby. Gabby took this dog over. They were best friends growing up. They grew up together, and Macy is one of Gabby's big, huge love. Gabby, do you still love Macy? Yes. Do you do anything with Macy? No. No, because we're with our horses all the time now. Do you still, what do you do with her? She's like, with her? yeah, we cuddle with her when we're in the house. She sleeps on her lap. She cuddles no. with us. We grab a blanket and then she's on her lap. She is always with Gabby when Gabby is at the I house. I taught her to chase squirrels. Yeah, she did. She taught her. She was your first real love. She taught you how to love animals. For all of you newer subscribers, this is Ruby. She is our painted golden doodle. We got Ruby a couple of years ago. She was two and a half years old, not potty trained. Um, her owners were moving and didn't think they could keep her anymore. Why didn't they think that? What was one of the hard things about Ruby that her old owners couldn't handle? She has to be with somebody. She has an anxiety. She like doesn't like to be alone. But what was the other thing? She jumped every <laughs> barricade they ever put her behind. And her Where's jumping is Houdini. That's yeah, name. they na nicknamed her Houdini. And their thing was that they couldn't handle a dog that jumped everything. But for us, yeah, horse jumps. Yeah, like for us, jumping was our big the thing. I first time we jumped her. Do you? Yeah, she had like no scope and no go to it at all. She's our jumper dog. Gabby uh, painted her with tie dye. tie dye the other day because she thought it would be fun and yeah, it didn't work out so well. Oops. We got Ruby when um, our other golden doodle died and she was Sam's dog and Sam heart was broken for a long time and then one day he's like I, I found this dog on the internet and I really feel pulled to her he didn't even want this kind again but he felt pulled to Ruby she's more poodle than um yeah and now we have her and we have never looked back I am not a big dog person this dog has stolen my heart because she's that good of a dog Ruby also chose Gabby she was we got her for Sam to be Sam's companion and she does love Sam but her love in life, Ruby's love in life, is Gabby. Because I feel like Gabby spends the most time with her. I jump her. And jumps her and does all the like really busy things that Ruby likes oh, to I be also busy. Her. Dog number three is little baby Cookie Dough. She is a five pound Chihuahua, the biggest of all of our Chihuahuas. She is a chocolate merle or a red merle color. And she is a mama. She has had babies. And she was a rescue. <laughs> Way back in the past. We used to rescue dogs, we used to uh, foster them for our humane society, we used to train dogs, we used to be, when Sam and I had just the boys, we did a lot of work with the, with dogs, and then we had the girls and our lives changed. And now we and have horses. We rescued Cookie when Sophie was a little baby, she was about one and a half years old when we rescued Cookie, Cookie was about a year. A year old. Cookie was never meant to be ours. She was meant to uh, rescue and to retrain. She had a lot of really hard behaviors that we had to work through. And when hatch. when it was time to rehome a Cookie, Sophie refused to let her go. And I kept saying, and a little one and a half year old and two year old Sophie would be trying to carry this big, a five pound dog around, and she was so was so heavy. And I kept saying, Sophie, I'll get you another little puppy, one that you can train from a, be from a baby, one that's more suited for your size. And what did you say? No. She would not do it. She just would not. So this dog was chosen by Sophie. Sophie loved her, and Cookie loves Sophie, and I think Cookie is the closest with Sophie. They do everything together. She Cookie sleeps with Sophie at night, and she is Sophie's first real love. Is she your first real love? Yes. Last! 
on the doggy docket is Toby. So again, I, I fought with myself again and again and again. I wanted a dog. I wanted a puppy. I did not want to have a rescue dog. I wanted something when the girls were a little bit bigger. I wanted something I could do on my own. Like just be a part of me. And I decided not to get a dog. And then uh, one day I woke up to a uh, message on Facebook from somebody saying this dog needs you and he did need me and I said to Sam let's just go look at him and if I decide I don't want him I won't get him he was like a very desperate rescue a worse off than Cookie when we got her and there are videos of us on our channel actually of getting a Toby and he was a really hard dog to train to rehabilitate to make into a uh, loving chihuahua he's two pounds super super tiny way tinier in real life i think and um one day uh, the breaking point in our relationship was when i said toby i will never get rid of you i will always keep you no matter what happens and somehow i changed or he changed and he's been a million times more settled and loved and happy in our family and he is the cutest chihuahua i definitely win the award for cutest dog no you no. do not in the past everybody I says macy macy no 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 cookie macy bauer so in the past on our channel we've had competitions about who has the best animal and, now, and Wait, there are always. there are a lot more subscribers now than that we did with them when we did Maybe our last when challenge we were like had 10,000 yeah like we're probably and, and all the 10,000 subscribers love for me. Okay, so don't... So, continue that tradition. Okay, I'm so... I'm showing two dogs okay, this year, so, and Ruby. in past competitions, it's all been based on skill and knowledge of our dogs. And this time, I... And cuteness. Wait, no, this, yeah. this time, I'm going to challenge you guys all just to do a beauty competition with our dogs. Which one would you vote... Okay, we have to show them then. Yeah, I'm going to show you in terms of most cute. If you think Ruby is the cutest dog that we own, vote in the comments dog number one. It is just based on cute, not how high she can jump, not who she loves, not all the tricks she can do, just pure cute. If you think Macy is the cutest dog that we own just based on cuteness, then vote cute, then vote dog number two. If you think Cookie is the cutest day by day dog, then you're gonna vote dog number three in the comment section. But if you're being completely honest with yourself and truthful, then you will vote dog number four, which is Toby, as the cutest. Remember, you're just you're voting cute factor. Like, come on, look at how tiny like he is. I don't like his apple head. I love his apple head. So, uh, oh, his eyes are popping out of his head, and I yeah, hate it. I love eye popping dogs. Okay, so there you go. I just wanted to share a little bit of our dogs with you guys because some of you guys have been complaining, saying that you haven't seen our dogs lately. Just know that they're always with us. He rolled. No, oh, he rolled too. oh my word, Stella, Bella, you do not look beautiful, Stella. What in the world? I don't not like to walk around you, Finn, because you are a danger. Look at you! Oh my god! Oh no, they gotta get clean. The boys are like, I wouldn't get dirty. But yeah, the girls are covered in mud. Like, where is that some kind of mating ritual, Stella? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Storm loves, loves small animals. This is so funny. I love this cat. Do you have food in your bucket there, Mr. Mr. Hendricks? Look, we got cats and dogs and horses. All right, you guys got to back it up. I need to get food. Back up. One of the problems I have with feeding Stella, like I'm ready to let them be together all night, every night, and Stella not have to be in a stall. But the problem I'm having is maintaining her weight with the boys there because I suspect she eats her fair share and then others at, when they're all together. Gabby, look at my horse. <laughs> oh, no. Have you ever seen her ever be that dirty before? She ever? Be dirtier. No, I, she's, if you touch her, she's rock hard. I'm going to have to groom her. Anyway. Oh, my, someone has to groom the willow. Gabby, who are you riding today? You're not riding Willow. Who are you riding today? I saw a random horse. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to ride today with all their hay in here. Who are we riding today for lessons? A random horse. A random horse. Random we don't know horse. yet. A random horse. horse. Okay, so we are driving into the barn for lessons. Finn was sore at our last lesson, so we're letting him rest. And the girls are getting to ride a lesson horse, which is what we wanted. We always want to be like at a lesson barn, and now we have the opportunity to be at a lesson barn. And the girls are getting to have a lesson on different horses. So they will, so today they're riding horses that they have never ridden before. So Gabby got dressed this morning thinking, I might be riding somebody that could suit blue. And oh, so blue goes with every. Oh, blue goes with every horse. And Maybe Sophie's thinking she's going to ride a horse that goes with pink, right? Well, I want to ride emeralds. But you can't ride emeralds. How, how about I just take Stella there? Stella. I do not ride, want to ride emerald. Emerald is, I, I, I do not like slow ponies. I know, right? Okay. I'm used to I fast. do not like it when they're anxiously walking around. Listen. All right, it's chore time. We got to get our chores done. Like seriously, Stella, I've never seen anything like it in my life. I no, I have never. There is a horse at our barn that is Storm's brother, and Gabby is dying to ride him. Do you think you're riding him? I don't know. What's his name again? Echo. Echo. She wants to ride Echo. He is just like Storm. He, does, he even does that little stop and then jump over it. I've seen him do that at the show while he was warming up. Yeah. It's like... He, I, I now know why Storm gets it. And he's a downhill horse, too. Storm's downhill. Gabby might get to ride Storm's brother, and she is crazy excited about it. All right, let me see it. What saddle pad did you choose? Three, three saddle pads. So, if you wear, if you ride a girl, a mare, you're gonna ride in this one, or this. One. But they're almost the same color. Why wouldn't you just take one girl one and one boy one? I'm not oh, well then why don't you just take them you? No. You have to decide when you see the horse. All right, go for it. You need a helmet? Maybe I should take a... But if I ride like a chestnut or something, I chestnut mare, then I can't wear the pink because it clashes. So I can wear the black and white. Oh. Because there's only a tie bit. Good logic. I see your logic. All right, you need helmet and boots. All right, what color are you wearing to ride the mystery horse? Mystery color. Mystery this, color blue. I think goes with any horse, like chestnut. Babe. You and Sophie both are like stuck on the chestnut. I feel like one of you guys is going to be riding a chestnut. I think I'm going to be riding a chestnut. Here's the craziest thing that ever happens. Like this happens all the time. I will be like, so we were at home sitting there and Sam and I were just chatting and all of a sudden I looked at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's two o'clock. We have to go. It's two o'clock. We have to go. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because we'll be late. Fiona will be waiting for us. And then as soon as I say it, my phone beeps. Like there's a bug in my house. So I'm like, oh my God, that's Fiona. And I look and it always is her. Like every single time I talk about her or every time I like say anything, she responds. Or I'll be like, oh my God, I need to ask Fiona. And I'll pick up my phone to message Fiona and ask her something. And as I pick up my phone, it'll beep. And she, and it'll be her. Like it's just so crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. But anyway, Fiona just messaged. And I know who Sophie's riding. Who, who, who. who do you want to ride? Polly. You want to ride Polly? Uh, that she's big, too huge. Big for You're riding Polly. Yay! Thank God I'm not riding her. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Polly is hard to ride. Nice. Yeah. The problem with riding Polly is that somebody's gonna go in the mud, and it's hard to get her. Like. You know how that's why I don't ever want a draft horse, even though they're a good size for me. So when Polly tries to take a bite of grass, and you know how you just grab your lead rope and you pull them so they can do it? Yeah, you cannot do that with Polly. Even She's I huge. I can't. I know. And I'm the boss. <laughs> I know. I know. Every single horse I ride. I know. Naturally. But we can't do. But we can do it with Polly. All right. Uh, I heard her beep again. Let's see who Gabby's riding. I'm gonna show you guys first. Want to make me walk. All right. So here's the message. I'll tell her when she gets here because it's fun to make her squirm. <laughs> She's keeping it a secret. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, who do you think you're riding? A hard horse. A hard horse? I, I think it's going to be Storm's oh, brother. Storm's brother. Yeah. Storm's brother is just like Storm. He is so lazy. He's downhill and he does that stop and jump from like a trot when you're galloping at it. Okay, so 
we are gonna get to see who Gabby is riding. Don't look, Gabby. I have a, we have a guess. Do you? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's not written yet. Don't look, Gabby. Don't look. Are you ready? Yeah. 